sustain peace, we must have progress. How do you intend to improve the economy to create jobs? In any country that has progress, there has to be industrialization. To create jobs, we must create factories. We have to build industries. We have to realize our long dream of having our own steel industry. For example, we export ores and the raw materials for steel, and we buy them back as a finished product. Compounding the expense, steel is needed everywhere. It is, as a matter of fact, the mother of industries. Everything you see around comes from the earth called steel. We generate jobs. E pati ako, nag-i-import pa ako ng steel para sa bahay ko. Our steel mill can do it for us. We build our weapons, our cars, and someday we can build all of our needs in this country if we have the steel mills. Nagawa ng Taiwan, Japan, South Korea, and other nations sa kanilang steel industry. Nauna pa tayo sa lahat noong 1960s. But tignan mo ngayon, nag import tayo. Galing ang raw material sa atin. Tignan mo ang South Korea and the rest of Asia. They are progressing and they have the steel industry to rely on. The backbone of industrialization. It's about time we have our own. We will welcome investors and we will fix our laws and come up with the code of economics. We will open our country for business, for investment. We will give uh, investors more than what the other countries are giving, better than what the other competing countries are giving them. The problem in the Philippines today is that we have laws that are convoluted and the red tape is really a disturbing problem. I would assure you that I will make our economic policies and laws simple, believable, and protect the investments that would come in. Alam mo sa siyudad ko, I have imposed this rule of uh, acting on whatever permits, uh, clearances, a 72-hour limit. Pag hindi mo nakompleto yan, or hindi mo ginama within 72 hours, you are no longer allowed to release it to the person uh, or the persons concerned. You have to give it back to my table sa City Hall with an explanation why it took you more than 72 hours to act on the papers. At ako naman, ang policy ko is pag may difference yung isang opisina, especially corruption, mga fixers, I go into a complete change. Chief of office hanggang janitor. Yan ang policy ko sa Davao. Pag nagkamali, and even police, Hindi lang may police dyan, and there is a lucrative uh, drug uh, business inside the city. I will change the police and every policeman. Yung kasalanan ng isa, kasalanan ninyo ng lahat dyan. Lalo na if it involves people connected with security. You have mentioned that the Philippines has many islands, and since foreign business know exactly what they need, we can lease an island to them where they can build their factories and businesses according to their own needs and rules, like a business island patterned after Hong Kong. One way to do it really is to attract people. Now, if there are islands available here in the Philippines, it might be small, it might be big, but if it suits well to the business, parang ibigay mo na sa kanila, without really giving up anything under Philippine laws. And para yung isang island nila, parang factory na yun nila. They can run their own show, discipline people there, and uh, they can configure the island to their needs. Now, instead of a factory, I give you an island. Okay, put your business there, obey the laws of the Republic of the Philippines, and you can tailor the configurations of whatever you want in that island. Only that you would ask or demand that you protect. Our environment. By doing this, we create jobs. Hindi na pupunta yung Pilipino sa labas, it create jobs here in, within our borders and within our island. And they can do business and the livelihood of the people as you To cite to you two countries, 
Hong Kong, Singapore. Hindi na sila lumalabas sa bayan nila magtrabaho. Business attracts its own people and their own boundaries. Dapat ganun ang mayayari sa atin. 